hello everyone so today we are going to implement a hard health bar a health bar widget like this for uh, for our multiplayer project so when i shoot some other player for example i'll shoot this guy so this guy here is what i can see through this window so if i shoot that guy you can see this health bar value is reducing like this and if I keep shooting he will die so similarly the synchronization would happen in all the ways client to client server to client and client to server in all the way all man all the manners so right that's what I am going to do today and as always this episode is sponsored by these generous patrons Thank you very much for your support. Right. So I uh, I only want to add a simple heart, maybe just the health bar level, just a health bar in the heart and the number of bullets remaining so that we can implement stuff like collecting bullets and also the grenade count. Yeah. Uh, collecting bullets and collecting grenades and collecting health packs so actually at the moment I do have this health bar over head health bar uh, on top of the characters but uh, for the local player it would be better if we have the health bar as a part of the HUD so yeah right so this is the design i'm going to follow this health bar and i have imported health bar image like this and health bar fill image like this so it should overlap with this uh, area that needs to be filled okay now i have imported it to my bp ui this should be capital. Oh, it didn't change. Okay, looks like I can't change. Okay, it doesn't matter. So let's create a widget. Let's call it. Oh, wait. I already have widget health bar, which is just a bar. Actually, this is what I have used for the overhead health bar that I have on top of these other characters so i don't really need uh, no i still need it so let's change the name to wdg overhead health bar so we don't have any more any confusion now here i'll create wdg health bar like this okay uh, now let's create a progress bar drag and drop here and uh, under this style as the image select this health bar 500 wait so let's set the anchor to the bottom right corner and image size is 500 by 172 maybe that's too big so let's try like this okay still I think it's too big so let's change the scale but here if I make this to like 400 what should be the Y we can figure out it like this 172 
multiplied by 400 divided by 500 okay 137 Select the progress bar. Right. And as the fill image, I'll select this one. Right. Now, if I increase the percentage, you can see it fills up to this point. Okay. Right. Now, how do we add this to the HUD when we play the game for each local player? Okay. So we have this first person HUD. Right. And here in the begin play, uh, we can create hard, but uh, let's not do it like that. Uh, let's leave this hard part. out for now so let's just do that in the first person character so how do we do it uh, let's open the first first person character and here Before this part, let me add a reroute node by double clicking here and collapse this. So here I'm going to set up uh, HUD. Okay, nothing there. So here let's get is no is locally controlled so using this we can determine whether this is the local player or not and let's have a branch if no just continue to the output if yes, uh, create widget uh, using the type widget help bar and on in player is get player controller and then add to viewport. continue also we need to keep a reference to this so that we can do stuff like updating health let's call it health bar it is in the type of widget health bar right now let's see if we get the health bar widget yeah we do we have it in all three instances right 
I'll change the number of players to two. So easier to manage. Okay. Now, uh, to manage this, uh, the health level, let's see, right, this is how we update the health bar. This is for the overhead health bar. So here, I'll add another reference like this uh, i'll update this health bar widget as well but first we need to make sure we have a valid reference and also i'm going to use this same function which i have defined in the bpi character ui so let's implement the same function same uh, blueprint interface oh can we do that uh, yeah yeah vpi character ui then update health bar so i think i am receiving some value in between zero and one yes uh so progress bar health set percent just directly set this value like this and then here if we have a valid health bar otherwise just continue if we have then call update health bar interface like this use the same health value okay now let's see now if i shoot the other guy if i shoot this guy here this health bar value should be reduced let's see yeah it is working and same thing should happen oh wait 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 uh, something is wrong because right it's okay when i shoot the other character but when i shoot this guy all right oh, it's not a problem working correctly right so yeah it is working and wait let's check one more thing let's see when we have one server player and two other players So let's, I need to test for all the cases. Sometimes we have problems synchronizing from client to client. Which guy is this? Okay. Right, it is working. okay no issue right it is working properly so yeah so that's all i wanted to do for this episode and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the patron club link would be in the description below and also i will up to upload the project files to the patron page you can download it there and thanks for watching see you in another episode Goodbye.